Hi friends, this is Susan from Melapine. Today I'm here with a very special project that I would love to show you guys. My friend Reginald's mom wanted a chalkboard kitchen tray, so we decided to make one for her. It's an easy weekend project and we hope you like it. Let's get started. To begin with, we took a half inch by 10 inch board, measured and marked it to the size we wanted the tray to be. Then we used a piece of scrap wood as a fence for the circular saw and cut out the board. We used the first piece as reference for cutting the other piece for both the sizes. We then used the miter saw to cut a 45 degree miter on both ends of the frame pieces. We placed two frame pieces together on the miter saw to get the exact same dimensions for both. We used a 10 inch compound miter saw to get all our cross cuts done. We then dry fitted the frame pieces to check if the miters joined correctly. We then routed all the four pieces of the frame using a rabbit bit in the router to create a rabbit step. We then used a roundover bit to create a rounded smooth edge for the frame. You might need to take multiple passes to get a smooth finish for the same. After the frame pieces were routed and ready, we started sanding the frame pieces. We used a 120 grit sandpaper for the first round of sanding. We sanded down all sides of the frame and went another round of sanding using a 220 grit sandpaper for a smooth finish. In retrospect, it is probably not necessary as it was going to be painted anyway, so you can skip this step if you want to save time. We then sanded the board piece as well in the same way to get a smooth finish. After this, we went for the glue up of the frame. We used tight bond to premium glue and spread it evenly on the inside of the frame pieces. We then joined the pieces and clamped them using our quick grip clamps. We used a brad nailer to put a couple of nails on the frame pieces for added pressure until the glue fully set. We really like using tight bond to premium glue for two reasons. One, it is water resistant and strong. And secondly, it gives you 10 minutes to make adjustments until the glue starts setting. After waiting for one hour, we dry fitted the boat piece into the frame to check for fit. Since it looked okay, we applied wood glue on the inside of the frame and fixed the board inside the frame. We then used the clamps for added clamping pressure until the glue fully cured. So the tight bond wood glue achieves its initial strength in 1 hour and full strength in 24 hours. After glue up, if the board and the frame are not level, you can sand the entire back side of the tray using a 120 grit sandpaper to make it level before applying the finish. By the way, I had to sand it a bit to make things level. After sanding, I used a wet cloth to wipe off all the dust. It's best to use a tack cloth to do this, since I didn't have one at hand. I used a wet cloth instead. After this, we went for the paint job. We like to spread a sheet of plastic on the work table to prevent spills and paint marks. At this point, we were in half a mind to leave it as it is because we like the grain pattern, but we finally decided to paint it anyway because we wanted to use it as a chalkboard. So we applied wood primer on the entire board to prime the wood before painting. After one side was done and dried, we applied the paint on the back side of the board as well. You can apply multiple coats of primer until you get full coverage for a perfect finish. Although the project will take longer to complete due to the drying time between each coat. After the first coat of the primer dried, we sanded the entire piece once more using 320 grit sandpaper to remove any minor bumps. We wiped down the tray using a wet cloth after sanding to remove dust. After this, we applied the chalkboard paint on the inside of the tray using a paintbrush. You can also use spray paint if you like. I used a small soft bristle brush to do the painting of the chalkboard part of the tray. You can also do a second coat if you want. After the paint was done and dried, the next part was fixing a nice bronze cabinet pole to go with the chalkboard tray. So we measured and marked the center of the frame using a tape. Then we drilled two pilot holes on each side of the handles to be screwed in. We just used the screws that came with the cabinet pole. We used a screwdriver instead of the impact driver because the impact driver could damage the wood due to its high speed. So here's how the chalkboard kitchen tray turned out. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And we would love to hear your comments on the project.